Yo, what is going on guys? Cameron here. It's been four years since I've been making videos on this YouTube channel and I made a lot of videos about mice, uh, gaming mice in general um, over the many years I've been doing this. I was going to do a top five 2024 best gaming mice video, but so I thought, hey, let's just do a reaction video to the few new mice and just see how they kind of compare to what we had from 2023 and beyond. So we're just going to be uh, kind of reacting to some of these new mice and we're going to jump right in with the first one being the Mercury M1 Pro wireless gaming mouse. Now right away, first impressions, this thing looks like it's just a bare bones, like unfinished mouse. It looks like Mercury just threw out a gaming mouse that was like not complete and was like, eh, we gotta, you know, make something new for 2024 and just throw this thing out there. It, it looks weird. Like, people say it looks incredible, it looks futuristic. This thing just looks uncomfortable though. I, maybe I'm wild. Maybe I'm, maybe that's a bad take from what you guys would think about the M1 Pro wireless gaming mouse. Um, it literally just dropped this month. So this is brand new in 2024. Um, it has a lot of interesting features. Uh, it's supposedly pretty lightweight. We'll get back to that. Um, it comes with its own grips, so you don't have to feel the holes, which would be preferable. Um, it's an innovative, hollowed-out design, highly sensitive PAW3395 chip. So this is actually a really interesting chip because it has 4,000 pulling rate. Your standard like 2023 and earlier predecessor gaming mice usually run about a thousand hertz. So I don't know how that extra, you know, four times pulling rate would really feel in game if you would notice any difference. Because you guys gotta remember, a thousand hertz is already relaying your DPI, your pixels, a thousand times it's refreshing per second. So I, I feel like it's going to be extremely diminishing result. Uh, it has some cool light modes for RGB lovers out there. Versatility of the connectivity, right? You got a wireless. It's got this weird wireless looking egg dongle. <laughs> it's also got the same design. It's got the holes in it and RGB and stuff. Apparently it can connect to, um, you know, your phone apparently. That seems kind of wild. Um, it is Bluetooth and it's wireless obviously so hold, it has a battery uh, and then we have three comments which one of them's in Japanese can't even read anyways that's the M1 uh, Pro wireless it didn't state anywhere in here like I searched weight I got one result and that's right here it just says it's lightweight so it didn't say what the actual weight was so I did google it and what I found online is that it is a mere 79 grams that's actually not super light i mean it is lightweight don't get me wrong because a lot of logitech gaming mice are like 120 grams but it's not like a 50 gram mouse it's not like a 60 gram um razor viper pro you know so it's a little bit heavier for a lightweight mouse but still not heavy so let's move on uh to the ponage stormbreaker this one is also dropping just this year so i mean i would just say this thing looks pretty standard you know it's obviously a righty only mouse so sorry about that lefties out there but maybe you can switch that around I, I don't know um but yeah i mean it's got your basic you know look and feel it's honeycomb sh um type of holes in it for it to be even more lightweight um it does have grips you can add to the sides and the buttons so that's pretty sick you can change your skates uh which is always nice there's different designs of course they're all freaking sold out except for red Made out of magnesium, you know, this they they put this out online. It's forged in the heart of a dying star. It's like incredible. And magnesium, super lightweight. But so is a lot of other metals. So I'm not like crazy impressed about that. Aluminum's really lightweight, pretty strong. Obviously, you gotta have some of it just made out of plastic, you know, like the softer un touched regions are probably plastic but so here it's comparing it to steel which no gaming mice are made out of steel by the way it's saying magnesium is only you know a sixth of the weight of steel well no shit steel is the heaviest element there is in the metal form out there well besides like i don't know titanium or some other stuff but you're still not going to make mice out of heavier metal you're just not look at that whopping 51 grams that's one of the lightest gaming mice you can find 
The ponage is doing an amazing job dropping down that weight, making it super lightweight. You're going to be flicking this thing across your desk like it's butter. Super lightweight. So that's a huge plus to this mouse. And it's a full-size mouse. It's not this miniature little weird baby mouse. We've seen like 30 gram wireless mice that are just for your fingertips for people who play claw where you're just gripping it by your fingertips. So it's a full size mouse, which is super nice. And I will say this thing looks way better than the M1. Yeah, the, what is it, Mercury M1 Pro? It looks way better than that. I don't, I don't like this design. That's just me though. Both of them are hella expensive. So you're gonna be taking out, you know, a mortgage just to buy this thing at 130 bucks for a mouse. 179 bucks for this Stormbreaker. That is, that's crazy. You can feed a, you know, a small family for a week that much money. Anyways, we're gonna move on to the Aerox wireless mouse. We're gonna start with the Aerox 5, which is, um, this one did come out last year, the Diablo 4 edition. I don't think they changed much from other editions, but you know, it's Diablo 4 themed. It's got a Diablo 4 little logo on it. This one's also hella expensive, 150 bucks. And it is also a little bit on the heavier side for lightweight, um, you know, mice, but it's 76 grams. It's got, um, this I like more than the other mice is that it got your actual, uh, this is like an ADS button. A lot of people will use this to aim with, you know, it's at the tip of your thumb. These two you would use at the front end and the back end of your thumb, like normal, like you would see in this one, how it has the two mice button. Then right above that, you got an extra button, a big long one. It's kind of sick. I don't know. You could, Fortnite has hella binds, you know, you could throw something on there and that would be pretty nice actually. So uh, I kind of like it for these extra buttons being 76 grams and getting more buttons is uh, a nice trade off in my opinion. Got a pretty nice RGB look, you know, nothing crazy there. Again, it's a full size. It's just a nice um, overall featured mouse. Um, Aqua barrier technology. It's rated IP54, shields against water, dust, dirt, and more. So, I mean, you know, you can, you can take this thing out camping or whatever, but ideally you don't have dust, water, or dirt, and more on your mouse pad. Hopefully it's just sitting in a dry space, so this is kind of pretty rendered useless in my opinion for most people, but it's there. And now we're gonna look at the, look at the Titan version of this gaming mouse, the Aerox 5. We're gonna upgrade that to the Aerox 9. Look at this thing, it has a full keyboard on the left side. You can use that to like dial your mom mid game. You can be like, hey mom, I'm killing some noobs right now. Bring me a Hot Pocket. No, I'm just kidding. It's It's got some extra buttons though, which is maybe useful for Fortnite. It might be kind of hard to get used to hitting specific buttons with your just your thumb, you know. That actually seems really hard to use in a fast paced game unless you really practice using that thing. But that's a lot of keybinds in there. I mean, you almost don't need a keyboard. You can just play the entire game right there. It's pretty crazy. I mean, that's like what, 12 keys? You got 12 keys just from your thumb alone. Anyways, um, it's about the same price. It is the same price, 150 bucks. It's also wireless, which is nice. Because of the extra buttons, it is actually heavier by about 12 grams, it's 89 grams. So it's starting to fall out of a lightweight gaming mouse, but they still classify it as an ultra lightweight gaming mouse for some reason. Other than that, it's pretty much the same as your Aerox, except it's got more holes. It's like a more holy version, um, you know, of the Aerox 5. Just as a little bonus, um, and this is pretty much all the newer mice I found that are kind of worth talking about. As a little bonus, let's look at this thing. Ergonomic Mouse Wireless. It doesn't even have a name. There's no name of it. It's just Ergonomic Mouse Wireless. I just want you to get the full scale of this gaming mouse. Imagine asking for a gaming mouse and your parents give you this thing. Now apparently there are people out there that actually have like difficulty holding a gaming mouse. So this is a substitute for it because you're not going to hold it like this where your hand can cramp up. You can hold it like this, like your hand shaking somebody for a good three hours while gaming. But it's just, it's just weird. Like, look at this other picture of it. It literally looks like a gaming mouse fell on your mouse pad and just melted like butter. Like a snake coming out of your desk. 
right? Like, you can see the mouth on it. It's like, yo, I am a mouse. Just imagine this thing talking to you. I'm hungry for your keycaps. Now, I'd be really impressed if somebody was able to win a Fortnite game using this thing, because this thing's ridiculous. You know, it is heavy, but it's not that heavy. It's 110 grams. I was really thinking this thing was going to weigh up around 200 grams. But what I'm really impressed by is this advanced wireless RGB trackball mouse. Look at that thing. Holy cow. You can play Wii Bowling on that thing. It's got a sick tilt. 20 degrees. Maximum comfort. You can take your, your ball out. Huh? A thumb operated trackball. Wow. Do not need to move your hands. Oh, I get it. You just lay this thing on your desk, you don't move it at all, and you just spin your trackball around. That's ridiculous. That's amazing. Now, that's a challenge. If somebody buys this thing, make a video of it, and I will react to it on this channel. Traditional uh, mouse, you twist your wrist. Don't you hate it when you guys break your wrist from moving your mouse? No more of that. Now just arthritis from your thumb. I'm just trying to picture somebody cranking 90s <laughs> using this freaking mouse tracking pad. Oh my god. It's awesome though. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed learning about some cool mice in 2024. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.